two women get on an elevator and strike up a friendly conversation with each other. They shuffle around a lot, and you can tell nothing is occupying the area behind them. Soon, they get off the elevator and leave behind a child who is glowing bright white. The otherworldly aura looks like it was probably edited using special software. The way the child looks straight down is a somewhat outdated horror movie cliché. Both of these indicate that this video is most likely fake, but there's something about it that makes me feel it could be real. So I'd like to get the final confirmation from you. Michael Jackson may have made a spirited cameo in YouTuber Kelsey Davies' adventure in the Forest Lawn Cemetery. Accompanied by Omar Gosh TV, Kelsey enters the Los Angeles Cemetery, where the King of Pop was laid to rest in 2009. Drawn to over here, like I just felt like I needed to look on these walls. And all of a sudden, you find Margaret, which is so great. This is what happened during the team's visit. This is Michael Jackson. Close by. Are you, are you here, Michael? Is Michael Jackson? Have you met him? Do you know if Michael Jackson's here? After that, Michael began to make music. Is there someone here with us? Using dousing rods to communicate, Kelsey gets a reading. It's moving a lot. Look. Oh. Did it. Are you this? Yeah. I'm so curious. While continuing to speak to Margaret, she confirms that the spirit is not related to Michael. Hey, I got a question for Margaret. Are you related to Michael Jackson? Does that mean no? No. Okay. Kelsey then really starts to become one with Michael. My heart hurts. Oh. Like a heart attack. This person. How did Michael die? I know. Heart that failure. Heart failure. Cardiac arrest. That was his. That was that. That was his cause. And at last, Michael reveals himself. Is this person here? Is your name Michael? Can you cross the dowsing rods in my hand for yes and open them for no? They are not alone. Ooh. It turns out something else is here. Are you Michael Jackson? Oh, it is. Does Michael have company? <gasps> Are you a demon? Maybe he's playing out thriller in the afterlife. A YouTuber named Josh Washi is exploring an abandoned building that he suspects is haunted. Long ago, this was a school, but now is little more than a crumbling collection of rickety rooms waiting for a closer look. He and his group somehow make it all the way to the attic without falling through the floor. Hidden at the far end is a door to an unknown room that makes them nervous. His friend Nate goes to open it, and that's when the urban exploration goes wrong. No, 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 that door just f opened by itself. That door just f opened by itself. At 3 minutes and 52 seconds, you can see Nate comes very close to touching the door, but ultimately does not, and is in fact moving away from the door when it mysteriously opens like a ghost is near. I think this video is real based on one thing. They were really worried about falling through the floor until they saw the door open and took off running, which could have gone very wrong. When the past on are literally beneath your feet, you're bound to step in something. Published to YouTube by Exploring with Eric in May of 2020, Eric visits a graveyard at 3 in the morning in his new series, The Devil's Hour. My objective is to document all sorts of evidence that relates to the paranormal world, whether it be poltergeist activity, any shape or form of apparitions, etc. By using my basic ghost hunting equipment, in this series you will see myself investigate alone. 
During the first episode, he gets more than he bargained for. While in the cemetery, Eric finds a mausoleum. After hearing a loud knock during a spirit box session, the glass door closes. He then says he heard someone's voice and he hopes there's no one here messing with him. Just as he decides no one's there after wandering around the premises, he hears footsteps. I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly where I wanna show you. He runs up the stairs to the second floor to see who is there, but there's no one. He notices that the doors are open to the outside. As he shows his viewers a fountain in the middle of the mausoleum, he hears footsteps again. He returns to the inner mausoleum, where the doors are again closed. Finally, he decides to leave and it's standing outside, saying he'll return again at some point. But as he pans around, a large shadow figure moves behind a nearby tree. I just, it's too much, it's too much for me right now to handle and like... What was that? Is that what's been watching him? It's probably time to say goodbye. Heather of Heather Hauntings is investigating a place known as the Shadow People Trail, a name that needs no further explanation. They go to the very end of the trail where the most paranormal activity is said to occur. Ghost radar first, because that one's been working really good. Oh yeah, that good. one's been working really good. Okay. Whoa, what the f is that? Loud. What the Oh my god, this place is so creepy. And it isn't long before they catch some creepy stuff on camera that leaves them scared. So, what the f what was that? I don't know. Terror. Terror? Yeah, I'm creeped. The scary noises coming from the woods stop for a while, and Heather's group wonders if the shadow people have left. Watch the ghost radar screen when they ask the shadow people where they went. Where'd you go? Yeah, you were all over and now you're just gone. They leave a camera facing the direction of the noise and walk away. The camera starts to move on its own even though it is on a well-balanced tripod. Some shadows move in front of the camera at 14 minutes and 45 seconds, and then the camera falls over. They've caught enough paranormal evidence on camera to convince me that this forest is as haunted and scary as the legends say. A man finds himself trapped on the 30th floor of the Shinjuku Center building in Tokyo after the entire city was rocked by a 9.1 quake. Now nowhere is safe and there is nothing left to do except to record as doors and cabinets swing open uncontrollably and the entire building shakes. Everything grows eerily silent, and then this voice cuts through the speakers. There is a lot of frantic chatter in the background, so I think it was a live broadcast, not a recording. Try and translate if you can, because if you were there, your life may have very well have depended on following these instructions. After a while, the speakers turn off, and the guest hopelessly watches as the buildings sway like trees. It's kind of hard to see what I'm talking about, because the building he's in is shaking too. This second video taken near the top floor of the Shinjuku Center building shows how bad the shaking really was. The buildings look like they are going to topple at any moment, but they are actually designed to be incredibly flexible and can withstand intense vibrations. Keep in mind that these are just the smaller aftershocks and not the actual quake itself, which was, believe it or not, much worse. A demonic entity haunts YouTuber Silent Jill subscribers in this scary video while watching the horror movie The Right. The couple experienced paranormal activity activity in their home, and they wrote to Silent Jill, requesting that she investigate. In the middle of their tour, one of the team feels something touch him.
Mais euh... vraiment touché Oui. Oh, genre quoi Mais genre une petite caresse. Allez arrête. Ah, si. Mais y a rien. Oui, ok, mais c'est peut-être pas parce qu'il n'y a rien sur les K2 qu'il n'y a rien du tout. Hein. Ça dépend comment il... Ça dépend ce qu'il utilise pour montrer son énergie, tu vois. D'accord. Let's see his reaction again. Ça ne fait plus rien. On n'ose plus J'ai sorti des trucs dans mes cheveux. Quoi Je sais pas. Comme si on avait toussé les cheveux, mais... Although nothing more overtly paranormal occurs during their investigation, they do sense something's here, and what's scariest to me is that it's not afraid to come close enough to touch them. When you hear footsteps approaching your room, you'd better lock the door. Posted by Eli Wall KG to the Ghosts subreddit. This clip captures something invisible entering the Redditor's room. Turn up the volume and you can indeed hear footsteps as Eli films the door of his bedroom. Then quietly the door creeps open. While most can agree this would make a normal person freeze, some commend the Redditor's bravery while others, like Redditor B5656561, have you learned nothing from horror movies? You don't walk towards the sound in the dark. Totally, who knows what's lurking in the darkness beyond that door. The Sky, submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Altruistic Shoe 2593 he titled this video, Strange Object Above the Sky, Let's Walk. Watch. What the f I just saw something on top right there. Uh, what's that? I can certainly see what he's talking about, but the question remains what is this thing? Let me know what you think it is in the comments. Number 20. While investigating this demon house, YouTube team KBC Cazadores de Fantasmas encounters a real life demon. In the wilderness, they start to get a wild EMF reading. Then they break out a thermal camera and capture this. Grace. Grace, good Grace. Oh? The more thing he does, the storm boys in Yontol. And they later captured the devil in their spirit box session. Oh, job. Follow her, man. Yeah, be scared, kid. They also take a photo in which something spooky is captured. These are just the grounds of the demon house. I feel that there's definitely something haunting this property, but we'll have to tune into the final episode of the series to find out. You're bound to come across strange things in the middle of nowhere. Published in October of 2019, the cameraman sets out into the forest on the outskirts of the city of Perm, and what he finds is that it's occupied. He eventually arrives at this strange structure, plastic sheets topped by wooden planks. When he removes one of the sheets, you see that it leads into an underground hovel of some sort. Deeper into the forest, he encounters another strange structure. This one again is made up of plastic and tarps, but it's been built above ground between two trees. There is a pair of jeans hanging on a limb, a plastic bag hanging from another, and a whole pile of garbage scattered on the ground. He peers inside to find someone sleeping in the shelter. He hurries away but comes across one last structure in his journey. When he peeks in, you can tell that someone lives inside this one too, but there's no one home at this time. One side is covered in branches to camouflage the structure, while items are hung on a line to dry. Obviously, it looks like a small community of people live in this forest, 
and I'm not sure how friendly they're gonna be to this guy popping in to say hi. A man films the road ahead while speaking in a different language. I'm not sure what he says, but it sounds like he is trying his best to stay calm in the face of danger. If you can translate this part for me, it would really help. <laughs> He slowly turns around the camera to reveal a hooded figure floating in his car. Only the upper half of its body is visible, and there's total darkness where its face should be. He doesn't dare look at the phantom in his rearview mirror, instead keeping his eyes on the road and letting the camera look for him. If this isn't a prop, then what could it be besides a ghost? YouTube team, Rota X Investigaso Paranormal, are exploring a haunted hospital in this scary video. Upon entering, they soon get a reading. As they wander the place, the readings continue dramatically. They hear a voice down a hallway. It sounds like a child's voice to me. They then see a light in the darkness. It appears to be flickering outside the window. Using a paranormal device, they capture a figure in the corner. It looks to be child sized. They continue to get wild readings from various devices. And something appears right on one of the team's shoulders. Again, they capture a figure standing in a corner. Is the spirits on timeout? That idea would line up with the child's voice we heard earlier. Well, I didn't witness anything paranormal with just my eyes. All of these devices do seem to be sensing paranormal energies here. This doll is reputed to make you crazy, and Dima is spending three days alone with it. Let's see what happens. First, Dima introduces viewers to the doll. Как мне сказали, чтобы освободить ее, надо, соответственно, разбить стекло. It doesn't take long for things to unravel. At around 3 a.m., this happens. That sounded like a footstep. For some reason, Dima decides to visit the doll, and he soon regrets it. Stop. Stop. <gasps> I mean, wouldn't you? Так, мать, давай ка ты. Those eyes look real, are they? Soon Dima loses his pulse. 
Что происходит, блядь? Блядь, что, блядь, что происходит? Ой, что случилось? Почему у меня пульс ноль? Окей, это был просто акцидент, но это... Что это такое? Что это такое? Что это такое? Что это такое? What are these unexplained noises? And this one? <laughs> As the doll has taken over Dima's bed, its presence moves things in his room. Later, he discovers the doll's little shoe on the floor. How did it end up there? Has she been wandering around while he sleeps? One of the security cameras then moves on its own. Was it just positioned poorly? Or is this the possessed doll's work as well? I think it probably is the Maleficent spirit at play. <laughs> this doll is 100% possessed, and in my opinion, its demon is now on the loose in Dima's house. He shouldn't have ever let her in. A YouTuber named Daniel Ott performs a summoning ritual that quickly comes to a close after he begins to feel weird. In doing so, he accidentally records a strange moving light while describing how bad he feels. I don't know, my body, it just doesn't feel right right now. I've just been hearing things. It might be trails of light left by the paranormal, or it could just be light reflecting off the chandeliers as he crosses the dining room. But still, as soon as he walks into the next room, this fleeting shadow appears on the wall. It could belong to him, but the angles don't quite match up. Alright guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. Um, I'm not sure if I'm, g I'm probably gonna make another one of these. One of these experiences could be easily explained away, but having both of them happen back to back is almost too much of a coincidence for me to believe, especially after a summoning ritual. Oh man, I'm in a two-way tunnel right now, man. If you down now, don't do it! He's moving! He's moving! A YouTuber named Tristan R is trapped in a tunnel when he sees his worst fear creep across his visor, a spider. There's nowhere to pull over, so now he has to keep one eye on the spider to make sure it doesn't land on him, and one eye on the road to make sure he doesn't cause a pile up. He finally is able to get out and pull his visor down to show us a spider was in fact dangling over his lap by a thread this whole time. It might not look like much to most of you, but for anyone who has a major fear of spiders, it's large enough. He pulls away thinking that he's seen the last of them, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are hundreds more inside. Now you see it, now you don't. Published in December of 2017, this video begins with a man speaking Arabic. No translation or subtitles are included, so we can't tell you what he's talking about as he stands outside what appears to be a normal door with an elaborate gold door frame. Over a minute into the video, he opens the door to what appears to be a normal dining room. Speaking the whole while, he enters the room and shuts the door, giving a tour of the room which is empty. He tries opening another door on one side of the room, but it's locked tight, so he enters further in what appears to be a living room. There are toys inside, a car with a doll in it, but nothing appears to be out of the ordinary. That is, until he turns to film the other side of the room and pans back to the car. No more doll. He doesn't seem to panic, and it's hard to tell if he even noticed. He continues to wander around the room. While well, nothing more disturbing appears to happen in the duration of the video, the man must have experienced something frightening towards the end. As fear is heard in his voice, his camera drops and he rushes out of there. 
What was happening in this room? I don't know if I want to know. It's the mansion. After entering a creepy forest to search out a haunted mansion deep within, YouTube team Ghost Theory finds it, but it may not be empty. Do you hear that? In an upstairs room, they hear something else. That complex or anything, it's just weird. I am on edge, but something just knocked the stairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they head to the stairs to check it out. Hello? As they move downstairs, this happens. That was right behind me though. <laughs> it's just the wind. It's just the wind, but it was like, it was such a force right behind me, that like loud noise. They ask the spirits to react and they follow through. Can you make a sound? Can you throw something or show yourself if you're with us? Later, another clanking sound is heard. Some light taps follow. So there's a little tap now. In another stairwell, Elliot hears something that Joe doesn't, but then they both hear it. I just heard something like that. Here it is again. I just heard something like that. <gasps> I think this is enough evidence to confirm this mansion is haunted, but the spirits here seem too shy to reveal themselves. Number six, do mirrors reflect reality? Or could they be portals to another world? Published by Augustina Davia in July of 2021, this creepy clip has me wondering if this is real or an optical illusion. In the video, Augustina is speaking with some guitarists on a video chat platform called Omegle. As she's chatting with the guys, something unnerving is happening in the mirror behind her. Take a closer look. The closet mirror reflects a dark shape sitting on Augustina's bed. You can also see a dark shape over her shoulder on her bed. You'd assume this was the thing being reflected, only the shape in the mirror is not an accurate reflection of the object on the bed. The item on her bed, which appears to be a piece of clothing lying on its side, doesn't match the object in the mirror, which is sat up and alert. Is the object in the mirror actually out of view behind her? But then again, if that's the case, why isn't the object on the bed positioned sideways, reflected at all? Is this an optical illusion? The more you stare at this, the less sense it makes. This Witch is Up to No Good, published by Zona Paranormal Veracruz in December of 2021. This scary video starts with a flash. While in this graveyard, the man appears to have happened upon a ritual being performed. A figure is speaking and making this fire come to life. <laughs> Later, amongst the mausoleums, the man hears that strange voice again in the darkness. <laughs> Followed shortly by a high-pitched sing-song voice. <laughs> The man then falls forward hard, pushed by an unseen force. 
He sees a ghostly figure from a distance approaching him. And then it's too close for comfort. The fire is blazing again, and upon approaching the fading flames, the cameraman sees a witchy woman hunched over departing. Señora, señora, solo vengo a explorar, no vengo a hacer daño. Allá adentro, allá adentro una sombra, allá adentro una sombra, allá adentro, allá adentro. What sort of ritual was this witch performing? This cameraman might find out in his days to come. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.